What is up guys? Jake from one Up here with the next game plan video. Um, I tried to get a guest on this one. Uh, it's harder than you think guys. We had I had one that uh, we just could not get his computer to cooperate and to be able to draw on my screen like we need to be able to do. And then the other one had a late night and just sort of uh, couldn't do it this time. It's going to do it in the future. So I tried but unfortunately all you get is me again. Uh, this war is going to be, I think, a little tougher than, than the last few, hopefully. Uh, they got some tougher bases for sure. And we're going to do a, a Town Hall 10, a Town Hall 9, and an 8 this time. Uh, granted, before I even get into this Town Hall 10 attack, I'll have to admit I am not the expert at Town Hall 10 attacks because I am not a Town Hall 10. But I will give you my opinion. Uh, I picked their top base because, one, it's a, it's a good base. And, two, I think it could be three-starred by the right attacker. Uh, and we'll get into it right now. When we do Town Hall 10 attacks, pretty much all we're going to be talking about is different variations of Go La Loon. Uh, that's the three-star attack. There might be an occasional one that could be hogged or something that we'll mention, but for the most part, it's going to be Go La Loon. Talk just about how we could do it. Uh, to me, the obvious direction to come from is the bottom here. And I've gone back and forth on this. Uh, I would like to think that a person with max heroes might be able to take all of this out right here. Uh, with you know a couple golems, two golems, uh, maybe a few wizards, and to create the funnel, and then max heroes. I think they could. I think they could get it all done if they could. Obviously, it absolutely cripples the base. But if that's too much to bite off, then there's no question that a person can you know relegate their attack to this area and get this done. Now, I think you could do that with one golem and max heroes. Uh, you know, come in, create your funnel, uh, have a jump spell for them right there. You're going to get the air defense. You're going to get the queen as she comes over. You're going to get the CC troops. And the big thing, that Inferno Tower and Expo, you're going to get this. Uh, pretty good trade-off. So to me, that's the way I would come in. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I forgot to turn my notifications off. To me, if I was there, I would come in with that. I would come in with uh, a golem and, you know, Drop a wizard, drop a wizard, create my funnel, drop my jump spell, uh, heroes come in. Um, you know, it, depending on what's in the, you know, probably a lightning for the CC if you're not bringing any more kill squad than that. But especially if you've got max heroes, uh, you know, you might get away with it. But bring a lightning for the CC. And then, you know, if you get that air defense, the queen, and the, uh, the inferno tower, that's the big three. Obviously, you've got this protecting it. And there's probably a Tesla. Uh, in one of these areas, maybe not, it might be over here, but uh, probably at least one Tesla right in there. So you're going to have to deal with that. Uh, but I, I think that can be done. You know, those, those max level heroes are very powerful. And especially for that queen, if you've got a uh, golem out in front of it, a max golem, obviously, uh, you could get it and get it done. Once that's done, you can come in with just a, you know, a clockwise motion or counterclockwise on this base, send it in a lava hound. Uh, you obviously want to rage there. Uh, lava Hound, you know, your targeted balloons on all this, by the way. Uh, targeted balloons, you're going to have a free spell, probably a Tesla right in there. You might drop the free spell on that side or if your Tesla pops there. But anyways, you're obviously going to have a free spell for the multi-inferno. And you want to, everything here has got to be raged. This has got to get to it quickly. You drop your last Lava Hound here with more targeted balloons. He sort of done you a favor and put a lot of things on the outside. Uh, that would be my game plan. Again, not the Town Hall 10 expert. Hopefully, I'll be able to have some uh, people in the, in the comments possibly say, you know, you know that this won't work or that won't work, uh, and collaborate with it. But uh, that's how I would see this base being attacked. Uh, so let me know what you think about that one, guys. We'll clean it off and we'll move on to a Town Hall Nine. Uh, Town Hall Nine we're going to look at is number nine, uh, right here, number nine. This was an interesting base to me uh, because I, I bounced back and forth on how I would attack it, I think. Uh, me being a hog guy, I still look at this and say it's probably hoggable. Um, chances are this guy might not even have double bombs, but if he does have them, uh, they pretty much have to be right here. And then he could have a set. Uh, and actually, I think that's it. I think that's the only I'm missing something. I mean, he could have them here, but that would be retarded. I don't think they'll be there. I think that's pretty much the only spot. So I'm, I'm guessing four. Uh, giant bombs spread out along the base, but you know, you would send your kill squad in a golem, 
coming in this way. Uh, you could even drop a few wall breakers. I think they would bypass that uh, to, to bust in. I think the queen will jump into this compartment coming from that angle. Uh, but you could just bring a jump spell as well right there. Uh, you know, create your funnel uh, with a few troops uh, and send your king and queen in. And then you're going to take the queen out, the CC troops. Uh, you would probably just lure them on this base. Uh, you could bring a lightning too. You could do this like a go. You could do this like a go ho. Uh, you could come in with a golem, golem, you know, your witches and wizards and stuff. Have a lightning and a jump spell to get into the queen. Uh, everything would, you know, you create your funnel, then send everything to up, up the middle. And then just come in from the side. I would probably come in from this side with my hogs because if there are double bombs there, you want them to path, you know, from here to here. And then when they go to that expo, a few hogs are going to. They're going to trigger that first bomb. You just pre-heal it, uh, and then they'll work their way around the base. Uh, another thing you could do is surgical hogs on this base. Uh, once you, you know, did your kill squad and all that, you drop your, you know, all this point defense on the outside. You drop a giant, you know, three hogs, three hogs. You drop a giant, whoops, excuse me. You drop a giant, three hogs, three hogs. Obviously, as these all converge in here, you're going to want to drop a heal spell for them right there. Uh, giant. You know, three hogs, three hogs, giant. And you see what I'm saying here. It just It's set up for it because all that point defense is on the outside. As they start converging into the core here, you'll drop your heal spells. Uh, so for me being a hogger, that's how I would do it. This base could be Lalooned. I think it's actually a candidate that might be Pentalooned. I don't think I would try that. When I first glanced at it, I thought I might try to get both of these air defenses but the more I looked at it, I don't think your your troops will path correctly for that. So if I was going to do it, I would just do a what most people would call a cold-blooded. Uh, come in with just one golem, uh, probably right here. Uh, take out you know these defenses, create your funnel, drop your jump spell right there. Uh, let everything in, get this air defense, the queen, the CC, and then start your you know lava attack. Lava hounds here, here, obviously targeted balloons. Uh, you know rage them. Last lava, you could do two lava hounds here because it's going to travel this way anyways, or send it from the top here and target balloon just in that clockwise motion. So a couple options on this base, not the strongest base, but it's 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 an interesting base to me because uh, there's a lot of possibilities. You don't know where things are going to be. <coughs> Excuse me. You don't know where things are going to be, uh, but I think you could do it either one of those ways. Uh, so let's move on to the next one and the last one here. A town hall eight. Number 28, right here. Uh, the reason I picked this one is because I have seen this Town Hall 8 base a million times. It's like every War Genesis has, there's three of them that use this base, and I don't understand it because it's so easy to attack. Uh, to me, it's a hog base. You come in with either balloons or hogs, doesn't matter. You could drop a giant in a few hogs. A giant, a few hogs, or just drop balloons in here. These air defenses are not close enough. It's going to matter uh, because you've got bombs here and here. Usually there's a Tesla on either side, depending on how they have it situated. But regardless, if you can eliminate the need for your hogs to go there, then you just two-finger drop your hogs in just like this. Uh, you drop a heal spell there, a heal spell there. And as they, if it's done correctly, they'll never even get over in this area. And as they skirt their way back up, you can do a heal spell there. And your the whole base is basically covered by heal spells uh, the entire time. That to me is much easier than drag looning this base. Obviously, this base could be drag looned as well, uh, but it does have a pretty good setup for protection on the air defenses. Uh, a lot of high HP buildings around them. If I were drag looning this base, I would lightning this uh, this air defense and bring my funnel. You know, create my funnel here. Dragon, dragon, then work my way back and forth, you know, to create my funnel coming in. Uh, and hopefully you're going to have plenty of, of dragons to get through. These two high HP buildings are really what's stopping you uh, to get to those air defenses. I think it could definitely be done. Uh, as soon as they got in range, I would drop my, and this, these, okay, let me back up. As soon as I created my funnel, okay, dragons are working their way in and they get these defenses dead right there. That's when you drop your balloons. Okay, you drop them right there, and they're going to go straight to this uh, mortar tower. So even while the dragons are standing here beating on these high HP buildings, your balloons are going to go in, take out this mortar, and then probably go to here. 
and take out an air defense. So you're only going to have one air defense left to, to do with if you time your drag or your balloons right and create your funnel properly for them. Make sure these defenses are dead first. But again, I would uh, recommend hawking the space. It's just too easy not to uh, just take out, el eliminate these as threats and it's over. Basically all you have to do is take out these two buildings and send your hogs in from the bottom and you're going to be fine. So, all right guys, that is it. I hope you liked the video. Again, I'm sorry I didn't have a guest. I will have one in the future, I assure you. So hang with me. Hope you liked it. Until next time, Jake from One Hive reminding you guys to suck less.